Welcome to Singapore Junior Physics Olympiad 2012 General Round Question 4. Raindrops fall vertically down to the ground with a speed of 10 meters per second. If we place a hollow cylinder of cross sectional area 80 cm square, height 10 cm on the ground, the height of water in the cylinder after 30 minutes is 1 cm. Suppose there is a gas under which the raindrops fall at 30 degrees to the vertical, how long will it take to fill the same cylinder up to the same level? A. More than 30 minutes. B. 30 minutes. C. Less than 15 minutes. D. 15 minutes. Or E. 26 minutes. For this question, we first look into the familiar equation relating time, displacement, and velocity. The equivalent equation for the collection of a volume of water is as shown here, where capital V is a volume of water and dV over dt is the volume rate at which the cylinder collects water. Now, since the volume is constant as given in the question, we can rewrite this as a proportionality relation as shown here. So the volume rate of collection depends on two parameters. First, the cross-sectional area of the rain point into the cylinder and the number density of rain droplets. This means that if we collect a bigger area of the rain or if the rain droplets are denser, then we can collect the rainwater faster. Now to understand how rain falling at an angle affects these two quantities, let's look at this figure. So this is the case where the rain is falling vertically down. So the cross-sectional area of the rain falling into the cylinder is just the cross-sectional area of the cylinder. For the number density, we can also express it in terms of the separation of rain droplets. Now since the number density is inversely proportional to the separation, i.e. Uh, if they are closer to each other, then the rain droplets are denser since within the same area there will be more rain droplets. We can rewrite this proportionality relation as such. Now, when the rain falls at an angle, while the cross-sectional area of the cylinder remains the same, the cross-sectional area of the rain decreases. By trigonometry, we can work out the new area to be only a cosine 30 degrees instead of just a. As for the separation of rain droplets, the separation, the, the horizontal distance between them is still s, but the separation between them is also reduced by a factor of cosine 30 degrees by similar trigonometry as applied here. Now, so if you look back at this proportionality relation, there's actually no change in dv dt because both the cosine 30 degrees terms got cancelled out. So likewise, there will be no change in the collection time. Therefore, the answer to this question is b, 30 minutes.